Anyways, just press create as per usual and press upload videos. And then what you can do is just select the files and you can do it by dragging a, a rectangle or by clicking on one and then shift clicking the last. And I recommend you do it by first, first and last, last, and then click on the first and drag it in there, right? And then release. We're going to actually try to do this without opening this menu by just having this UI of a studio in videos. And let's try to click and drag them in here. No, no, it starts downloading them. That's nonsense. All right, so you have to actually click create, upload videos, and then click and drag. All right, so what now happens is a bit different. Now this pops up. Uh, can we... We can pull it down. You can cancel individual downloads, but if you do, that would uh, cancel it. And I don't think you can add additional downloads to ongoing. So that's a drawback from the classic uh, multi-upload UI. We can add it to the individual ones. Let's see, clicking the name does open it. So we can here now edit the title and stuff, description, etc. All the usual stuff. Or close it, save this draft. Right, so it's not as ideal. In the classic mode, you could just have them above each other and then you could just copy paste easily between them. Now I recommend you use like, for example, Notepad to save tags and just copy from here into all the different ones. It's not as great as it used to be, unfortunately. It's not as performant. It sure looks nicer, something we totally don't care about. At least, you know, at least we see this progress bar. That's cool. But no, the classic uploader also had that. Oh well, like it or hate it, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, I hope this was useful and I will see you next time. Ciao.